Chris Beth Hiley here for Boy King Peak at Gen Con 50. I'm sitting down with Catherine Hill from Blue Orange Games, and you've brought us your newest title for this year, yep. which is Photosynthesis. So this is part of your line that you guys started a couple years ago with uh, New York 1901, mm -hmm. and you guys had Vikings on board last year, and now Photosynthesis. So, I, as always, I think what was notable about those two games is spectacular art, spectacular components, yep. and I would say, right out the box, literally, <laughs> this hits on both those fronts. I think so, too. <laughs> this has been getting a lot of chatter, so what are we trying to do in uh, Photosynthesis? Well, in Photosynthesis, um, it's an abstract strategy game, a little bit different because it has a theme, um, and what I really love about this game is that the theme ties in beautifully with the mechanics. Everything just makes sense. It's easy to learn once you play it, literally like one round. You're like, okay, I got it, easy to remember. Um, the way it works is everything is based off of the revolving sun. And so there are six different points. Um, a game is played in three rounds, so the sun revolves around the board three times, um, shining its light down, and then um, that ends the game. The way it works is um, in every, every time the sun is at a different point, um, a new round starts. In every round, there are two phases, the photosynthesis phase and then the life cycle phase. In the photosynthesis phase, uh, you are earning light points, and that's part of the game's economy, and that's how you're gonna carry out your actions in the life cycle phase. So for example, here, uh, the sun is shining down on these trees. Small trees get one point, mm -hmm. The medium get two, large get three, and that's all part of the kind of this in intuitive part of this easy to right, so we had game. Right, so are one, two, three. Yep, um, but trees that are in the shadows don't get points. So here, ah. these small trees don't earn any points. Because our sun, which is right here, is, is blocking. Yep, the casting shadows. So um, small tree gets one point, medium tree gets two points, large tree gets three points. Similarly, small tree casts a one space shadow, a medium tree casts a two space shadow, a large tree casts a three space shadow. So here, this little guy is gonna be in the shadow no matter where he is along this path. This little guy right here is also in the shadow, but if he were over here, he would be fine. Um, a tree that is uh, smaller, that's in, fr uh, in front of a larger tree, does not cast a shadow. It's kind of like in real life. <laughs> so once we've all counted our points, let's say for example, this tree would get two points, uh, this player here would get two points for this tree, three points for this tree, and then one point for that tree. And so we would far enough away. add it to our light point tracker, and then in the life cycle phase, after everyone has counted their points, we can carry out a number of actions. So the trees over here in our available area are free. You don't have to buy them, but an action that you can do is buy from your player board, place in your available area, and then a separate action that you can do is come go from your available area onto the main board. And so um, it costs one point to plant a small tree, two to plant a medium tree, three to plant a large tree, all part of that same pattern, right. easy to remember. Um, what you can do here, like I said, you can buy or you can plant. A seed can only be planted, it has to have a point of origin, just like in real life. It has to come from somewhere. A seed needs to be planted, can only be planted one space away from a small tree, two spaces away from a medium tree, three spaces from a big tree. From a big tree. In a it's linear a theme here. Yeah, in a linear fashion. Same thing with this, the way the sun shines, it's all linear. So this medium guy could plant anywhere along a linear line where there's an available space. Um, and so you can plant a tree. Additionally, you can grow from a seed to a small tree, small to a medium, medium to a large. Um, that's also another action you can do. Uh, you can also, as another action, end the life cycle of a large tree, pluck it off the main board, <laughs> and then you come over here and grab a token correlating to the quality of soil that tree grew in. Uh, the closer to the center, the more points you get because the more the higher chance of shadows, ah, so, so it's harder to grow. So if we sacrifice this this large blue one here, we, it's on a four leaf spot. Right, that's center. and that's the the highest uh, scoring part. Um, so everyone's kind of trying to get to there as part of their strategy. Um, and that, like I said, those are the victory points. So the light points are part of the economy, but you're really pushing for those. And then after the three rounds, uh, whoever has the most victory points wins. There is one um, caveat to, to, plan, uh, to carrying out actions on the main board. You can only carry out one action per turn on a space. So you cannot plant a seed and grow a tree on the same space. Similarly, you can't grow a tree and then use that tree as a point of origin to plant seeds. However, you can buy 
place in your available area and then plant on the main board that same tree or seed because the restriction is on the main board. Thematically, that ties in well with you can't do too much with the soil. Right. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta give it. It has to have some energy from the photosynthesis phase in order to, for you to carry out uh, another action. Now, what I love is not only are each of these tree like styles completely unique for the different players but like even the the seeds here are all different mm -hmm. little tokens here to both color coordinate but also to give a character exactly. of, of different kinds of, of plant life that we have going on yeah <laughs> with with and if you guys can see there's nice little touches like little birds nestling in among some of the bigger ones yeah here. it's kind of like king domino it has those little just those little touches right, that make yeah. it a little unique and oh, fun oh, and to I'm spot like, oh there's like a little bunny at the <laughs> yeah there's a bunny, I think some, there's birds in the trees, yeah, they did a great job with this one. Yeah, absolutely. How long do you think a full game would take us? Um, I would say to start off as a, like, if you're just learning, it takes about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, it should take between 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how slow people are at decision making, <laughs> just, it, it depends. Uh, if you're, I feel like, seasoned players in this, you know what they're doing, 45 minutes. So glad that you guys got into. A, I know you guys. Have, if you get calling yourself the big box, for yeah, you, it's this our is big, the big box. box. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so glad you guys got into this big box line because I mean every title. It just as you guys were setting up, and I could see you a little bit off camera. I remember just thinking like. <laughs> Yeah, our, our product development team is in Europe, and they really do a great job with these big box games, selecting the right, you know, first of all, the right game, but then the right illustrators and, and our designers there. They do a great job uh, to give them a lot of kudos. So, Makes it easy to promote. <laughs> it lives up to a type. I, I think that's true. So if you guys want to check that out, this is Photosynthesis from Blue Orange Games. And so thank you so much for letting us take a quick look. Of course. Thank you for having me.